Hi everyone, I have some the rest of my diamond paintings in this bag if you remember. I'm going to be opening them up. These I think are from Diamond Painting Factory. We shall see. I was I had some issues with the, the other ones. Let's see what these are. Stick with me and we'll open them up together. Okay, we have, oh yeah, okay. I was wondering when these would arrive. I had not seen them yet. Oh, wow. <gasps> okay, 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 that's something else that, that came that I didn't realize. Oh, and there's another thing in that box. Another, I'm not gonna show you what they are. I had some little things that I had ordered. Oop, I won't show you. I had some little things that I ordered. There's three of them, and we will look at those together too. So, <laughs> that was a good surprise. Everyone, you notice I have the sores on my mouth. The previous video before I went in depth as, as to why I've had some um, family stress from um, emergency family stress with my husband's health. And, um, and when things like that happen, it causes me, my body to attack itself. And at this time, it's my lips and it's starting to get better. It's, um, it just takes a little while when it's on the face. So I hope I'm not just scaring you. <sighs> I'm sorry. Okay, let's go ahead and get in to the small one first. All right, and I've ordered these. This is a gift for a friend of mine. And she loves, 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 absolutely loves cardinals. And you know me, I can't find the opening or my little thing, my big old fat fingers can't find it to open it. Okay, because I need to be careful because I want to make sure I give it to her packaged the way it came. Okay, I am going to check to see how many colors and if they, they came, if it came with everything. All right, here it is. You can see it good. It is, and there's, <laughs> I'll straighten it out in a minute, but it is Cardinals. Look at these beautiful cardinals. Aren't they beautiful? And it's got the trees. It's sort of spring-like, I think. Spring or summer in a waterfall. Isn't that really pretty? It is a 30 by 40. And it has 20 colors in it. Okay. Now, it came with individual packs, baggies of the diamonds. They are round. It's good for a starter. She's never done a diamond painting before. So this is a good start. It come with the basic wax and, and the, the tray and the pen. And this is, a, it's small enough to where you wouldn't really have to make an inventory sheet. You wouldn't really need to. Need to. You could go one color at a time. You could, you open up one side, do one, one color, close it over, open up another side, finish with that color over here, and just go down all the colors. Or just do all the colors on one side, close it, open this side up, and do all the colors on this side. And it, that, they're in baggies, that Ziploc. You don't have to kit these up. It's perfect for a beginner. They don't have to have containers. They're, don't, they're not having to open them up and open up another bag to put to pour the diamonds in to baggies or containers is this is perfect okay now this is something i am happy with from diamond painting factory other than that they usually didn't they did not send if you look i'll try i'll link out if i can remember i will link that previous video of the others that i went through and unboxed with you and so you can see how, how, how I felt about those. Um, what I liked and what I disliked about it. All right, and there's the, the tools and everything. And what we do, a lot of people don't do it because it is a poured glue with a clear cover over the top, okay? And what we do, it has, this is a thicker, sturdier canvas, okay? It's more of a nylon 
um, it feels a lot like the kind that is on uh, book bags. You know what I'm saying? All right. It has the little shimmer glitter in it. I don't know if you can see that from there. Let's see if we can get it up close. Get you to see that shimmer glitter, maybe. And as you're looking for that, you can see that the glue is just fine. 20 colors, and there's the symbols and everything. They're upside down probably for you. I don't know. No, I, yeah, they're upside down. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to carefully place this back over. Oh. And it is sticky. It's not as sticky as some that I have, but it looks like it'll be just fine. Some of them, man, you stick to it and you can make a commercial for it. It's so sticky. <laughs> okay. All right. This side, we're going to do this side again. I mean, uh, for the first time, I'm not doing it again. And let's see if you can see the grid there. And you can see how nice and shiny that glue is. And it appears to have covered the whole picture. All right. I think it's going to be okay for the size. Because the, the background sort of is okay to be a little blurry. Because you're really focusing on the, the pretty birds and the flowers up close. So it's a good starter. I'm trying to get all those bubbles out. Okay, and there you have it. Item number 96C9. And, okay, here's the first problem. We have an item number here. But on this, or this, there is no number linking it to this picture. So, if you're going to, if you have, if you like to store your drills in another box, storage area, you're not going to know what this is. Write this number on the outside with a uh, Sharpie permanent marker. Okay? And I'll even say cardinals with waterfall. In case this gets lost, I know which picture it will go with. Because these usually... Every one of them usually puts the item number on their diamond painting. So, that's the only issue that I have with Diamond Painting Factory, is they're a little lax about making sure these, their diamonds, have the number here on them. So, be very wary. It's a great diamond painting. The quality's great. Quality's great, looks like, with the, with the diamonds. And it's got 20 in it. 20, I will count these in just a moment, but the only issue, if I had to find one, is that I want to make sure this number is on here, but I can remedy that. There's nothing to um, call them out on that they need to replace or whatever. You can email them a nice, kind letter and say, make sure that this number is always on the packet and on the packets here, if not there, in on this the packet that they're in. Okay, so that way we will know that these, in case these get dropped in a vat of others, <laughs> you'll know it comes to this one. But this is why we open them up. This is why we check to see if all of these are here. We check to see if these are attached to this picture by having this wrote on them. This is why we do this. Because if we go to, if we wait three, let's say I can't get to this for six weeks. Guess what? If something was missing, it's too late. It's too late to, to fuss about it. You might can contact them and explain to them that you did not realize that they didn't have all the diamonds or whatever. Could they send number 10 or whatever? But you're going to need this and the number of that. Some, of, some companies are really kind to back it up and may, because they are, are, are in these little baggies. Um, you'll be able to um, know which one it is. And the good thing about it is, is on here, the good thing they have is included the actual number of the color. Okay, that's what this is. The DMC, the DMC number. 
I do believe I'm getting it right. But um, of the color, so that way, if you can't get the diamond that is missing, you have the number that you can look for on Etsy. A lot of people save their drills and will sell them on Etsy to those people that need a color that is missing or they have run out of some. So let's say you dropped it and you couldn't get them all up. So you can, you know the, you know the number, okay? That's why these are so important for them to have this number and this number and, you know, inventory sheets even. It is so important because you want to stay thorough. You want to make sure that you have everything you have so that you can do your project that you bought. Okay, let's check and make sure that they have, you know, how it is. So hard. Do y'all have problems finding the edge of these things? There it is. I was looking for it a long ways, and it's actually, okay, which side is it on? <laughs> okay, I have to put my finger in there and pull and see. Okay, it's on this one. And the, the sticky is coming off. Okay, anyways. Let's dump these out. And be careful. Make sure you check before you do that you don't have any loose. Because a lot of times they don't seal these all the way. Okay? So there's 18, 16, 1. There's 1. Making sure it's sealed. 7... 12, 20, there's the last one, 20, 11, 19, 17, and 18, 16, there's 8, so we have 7 and 8, we've got 10, 11, there's 1, 1, 2, 3, Four. There's nine. There's thirteen. Twelve, thirteen, right there. Fourteen. Fifteen. Six. And five. Okay, so now I'm going to go through it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. We have all, all of our diamonds in this pack. So, anyways, that is great. That is so great. <laughs> All right, let's put them all back in there, and they're all closed. No, we haven't lost any. Assuming that they have filled each one with the correct amount, usually they give you a little extra. And so I'm happy there. There is the first little gift for my friend that loves cardinals. And... Um, Miss Pat Waters, you are going to get your first diamond painting. I hope you like it. I do. I really do. And there's the tool kit. And we're going to put this aside for a second. I'll keep that back up for her in just a second. I have another one to do. All right. Don't look at my nail. <laughs> Anyways, here is the next one for her. It is a larger one so I'm gonna recommend she do the little one first to make sure she likes it. Oh and that was a bit over and I luckily the sticky is still there. Okay. Huh ah, would be bad if it wasn't. This one's a little larger. This one comes with individually numbered and look at here they have put the item number on this B235 is that what's on there B235 see there somebody must have already suggested that and the first one here 
had not had it on there. So somebody was nice enough to think, hey, you know what? It's not printed on the, on the actual uh, diamond packs. So we better put it on here. And see, that's what they needed to do on the other one, and they didn't. But I, I love seeing that they did that. That's a, that's a plus. Thank you. Um, a little more wax for this one. It is bigger in your, your toolkit. All right, and I'm going to have to move things out of the way because this one's bigger. This one is a 50 by 40. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? Let me see if I can get it. I love it. Don't you love it? It's a cardinal. Another cardinal picture for my friend. And I think she's going to love this. I do. Don't you think? It's cute. It's it's a nice size. It's going to really be pretty. Really, really pretty. And I'll put the links. If they're not sold out, hopefully they haven't sold out yet. As to where I got them. In the description below if you love this one. Look at there. There's the female. There's the male over here. And they're eating bird seed. And there's little chickadees here with it. You can see them up here. I think that's chickadees. Um, or finches. So, and I believe that's hydrangeas in the background. I'm not real certain. Because it's, I forgot about it before it came. So, um, exactly what the picture, I knew I had bought cardinals, you know, for my friend. She knows she's getting something from me. I didn't tell her what it was. This one has 22, 22 colors. So, let's go down here and you can see what it's going to look like. This one's a little bit bigger. All right. Let's move these over. All right. Here we go. We do have some wrinkles in the cover. This is another poured glue. We know that by the clear plastic cover. It does have the glittery sparkly effect all throughout the canvas. Again, this canvas is the heavier, um, whatever that texture stuff is that goes on uh, book bags. It feels just like that. So it is the heavier uh, canvas material. Now, these little ground kids back there are uh, in the house really, really, really having fun, aren't they? Now, I do not like that there is a crease, a uh, fold here right down the middle and you can see that without me having to pick it up and show it to you you can see it on that table this will have to be put under something heavy to get that out of if you have to use an iron if you if you have to put this under something to let it get flat all right don't do this immediately if you have a wrinkle like this in here you've got to get that wrinkle out or you're going to see it it's going to make your your diamonds be like that so it will flatten out see there it's not in the glue it's going to flatten out you just need to put it under stuff that are heavy like big huge coffee table books all right now we're going to make sure that it doesn't create air pockets okay i'm sorry about that my battery had to be changed Okay, make sure that you don't have any air bubbles or whatever. And I know I put some in there. You can see them. So we go back and we try it again. And try to do it a little at a time. Sometimes you can't get it exact. And, and that's okay. That's okay. Just kind of let it go down on itself. It'll kind of do it itself. Really nice. Fold it down. Like that. There we go. It's a lot nicer. I have one right there, but now we can pull it, push that out to the edge. And that's really all you need to do. Okay, I do have a few right there, but I think we can get those out. All right, now let's do this other side. You can see that wrinkles in the, the that's just the cover. The only wrinkle is that one in the middle. You see, the rest of it is just fine. The glue is just fine. It's just that one wrinkle, which has nothing to do with the glue, but you want that to come out. All right, some people, if they were going to do it right now, they would probably take a very, very, very slightly warm iron 
turn it over upside down and let it on um, this, this side is not doing this good but you could even put like a little soft cloth in between and iron it okay you could do that and see I've got all kinds of bubbles in here but we'll work it out I don't want her to have a problem hello bubble go this way sometimes it won't and you just have to redo it like that okay anyways but anyways there's the picture 22 colors let me let you see the grid here let you see what it looks like you can see the colors and the symbols all right now let's go through these the diamonds now this is in a longer one let's get this out of the way this is in a longer one I'll pull them out Woo. careful careful all right gonna have to check them off now here's where and in, when they're not all together they're in different separate pieces this is where we want an inventory sheet that tells us how many packs of what color it is this just tells us 890 okay that's the color on here 890 but we don't know how many packs to count is this the right amount of number right amount of packs we don't know we don't have an inventory sheet to check them off with we just know they've sent us six packs of this color 890 all right this is the 470 uh i can go down and check them off that i've actually got each color but i don't know if i've gotten all of the actual packs that this this actual painting needs of each color i hope that makes sense okay so i'm gonna have to check these off a little later um i'll show you the color um there's a beige color um like a, i think that's like a green ochre or whatever you call it i don't know and a more of a pale yellow a off-white more of a green burgundy there's your 310 black here is an 823 and it is a navy gray let me see the gray and then we've got this green here and then we have like a wonderful um gray bluish really pretty color and a darker gray darker gray more darker well this is well this is a little lighter than that gray you can tell you can see a little bit lighter than that gray so we've got three different color grays there and then um 37.99 which is sort of a gray almost black uh 524 is a green a light sage green this is a nice uh, emerald green here, a dark evergreen, evergreen green, I think. And here's just a, a sort of a grassy green or pine green. And then here is a grayish teal greeny color. I love it. It's nice. And then you've got like a clay, uh, one of those gray clay, um, I mean a greenish clay color another burgundy and more of the green this is more christmas dark evergreen okay let's see are these the same colors nope you can tell a difference here one's more blue and one's more green if it's showing up for you i hope it is okay everyone i'm going to go through and make sure that each one of these are uh, each one of the the actual colors on the grid on the actual let me show you. 
right here. I'm going to make sure each one of these colors are here. And I can do that by the DMC number. All right. These do not have the one, two, three, four, five in a row number. They just have the color number. If you look here, you can see. Let me see if I can get it to. Yeah, see that color number? That's all you have. You don't have what number in the in the the order it is on those individually. You go by the DMC number to count these and and everything. So this is why I like an inventory sheet because I, I don't know how many I'm supposed to have of this color. So how can I contact them if, if it's missing one or two? So it's very important. It's a new company, I believe, and I'm just getting started. So I am going to have to let them see the, the review and maybe they'll learn from our reviews here with you. Quality is great. It looks like they are taking care uh, to get these to us in a nice fashion. Okay, let's move moving on. Moving on to the little specials. All right. <laughs> this is going to be really sweet. You're going to want to... You may have seen these on other diamond painters. You may have. And these are little keychains that are little, a little teddy bear. And it comes with this little pack. It comes with the teddy bear. Let, let's just put you down here again. I'm sorry. Up, down, up, down. I don't know what I touched on there. It might make it look weird. But anyways, this is the, the little teddy bear. All right. Here's the keychain comes with. Let's pour this out here. All right. What is this? Pencil sharpener. It's a little, uh, it's probably a freebie. No, there's a pencil. Why is there a pencil? Oh, the pencil must be wax. Okay. It must be a wax pencil and you need this instead of one of our regular tools here, a diamond painting pen. It's come with, I believe this is wax. Yeah. It's a wax pen, and I think that's how you pick them up. I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea. Okay. Anyways, we have the glue. It's B700. I'm sorry. I may not have been on the camera. B700. You get two of those, and what you would do is, like, let's say you're going to work on the face. You would put the glue on a section, maybe half the face or just the top half, and then you would put the diamonds on there. And then you would put more glue, spread it on there, and then, and I recommend you, sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm doing what everybody else does. Uh, you would go half, let's say, look, work in little sections like the ear, put the glue on the ear, put, arrange your diamonds on there. Do the other side. Um, put the glue on there. I recommend a cotton swab. Okay? Pour, pour some glue out or just do a dab and then use a cotton swab or something to spread it on there. Alright? And then do your diamonds. You don't want this gl glue drying. You don't want to put it all over the front and then only able to do the front right here and and this dries this dries pretty quick okay and it's permanent so sections at a time do sections at a time let it dry overnight and then put it on your keychain isn't and, and see that could even be on on your in your car you know hanging from your rearview mirror you can do that isn't that the cutest thing? So this is what you get. You get the glue with it. That's great that they send you this. This is this is really good glue. And here is the color. It's AB Special Drill um, Aurora Borealis because they have like that uh, iridescence on it, and it's like a baby uh, a baby blue. So yeah, that is what this one's going to be, all right? And they even give you the tip to, to use if you need to, all right? Just make sure that you want to clean this out in here if you're going to reuse it for other things, all right? So I'm going to put in the, the, it does come with the instructions, 
right here. It is in Chinese. So you, but they do give you good uh, pictures to go by. It's really easy, easy. Okay, so don't worry about getting any of the glue on you either, because it will. If you just rub your fingers together, and it'll come off. All right. So I'm just really perplexed. Of I don't know if that's just a regular crayon, uh, color pencil. Uh, I don't know. Let's look. Let's see what it says about the color pen. Well, I, let's see what it says. Huh. Okay. They have it on here as what is placing the the um, diamonds on there. So apparently that's what this does. So, anyways, we shall see. In the long run, we shall see. Okay, we'll put these up. We'll do the next one in just, in just a second. Let me close it up there. The next one is the same thing, except it's a different color. So, really, let's just make sure it, ha it has come with all its components. This one is a silvery pink peacocky color. Um, look how pretty. Isn't that nice? Really neat. But it's more pink than anything, I would say. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you say that? So you get this. You get the go the keychain. And the here is the teddy. The little teddy bear. Right there. And here is the same thing. You got your B700 and a different type. The other one looked like a little mouse, I think. Uh, sharpening pencil and your boat. And there's the pencil. The instruction sheet. I'm, I'm trying to go through that hole right there. You see that? Um, more. Be There's not a lot of glue in this because it, it really feels like it's nothing but air. You see that? It really feels like there's just air in there. And then here we have the the tip and the and the pencil. So yeah. Okay, we've gotten all of that. We've done seen that one. And I've got another one to show. Let's seal that one back up. Alright. Now uh, we've done that one. Ha! Here's another one. It's in a different bag. But it's it's the same thing essentially except he is a red, white, and blue. Alright? He's going to be like 4th of July. And he's a little bit different. He don't have that long keychain. He has his own keychain stuck to him. Um, let's go ahead and get him out so you can see him. These are a little different prices each. He's a little bit smaller, I do believe. But isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? He is so cute. Alright, and you do have your boat. This time, they did put wax in. And if you have this and don't want to try to risk using the pencil, I would use this if you're used to that better. Um, and you, you've got your, your pen. And here is, and it's the white Aurora Borealis. You can see how pretty those are that you'll put on there. And you'll put it wherever you want to. You obviously probably won't cover up this hole there. You would probably just put it where the white is. Okay? So, there's that one. And aren't those so fun? So fun. Did it, did it come in this one? Okay, I think it came in this one. Let's put that there. And we'll put this. Oops. In here, back where it goes. Put that over there. I think that's how it did it. Well, it's not wanting this. May have been in here. Let's see. Yeah, that's the way it was. I'm doing the wrong thing. Okay. This went in here. <laughs> he went in here. <laughs> 
And then this went in this. And this one went in here. Now I got it. All right, everybody, I hope you love these two cardinal paintings and the little keychains that I have put on, put, that I had also three little keychains that I had in the box with it. And I totally forgot that I had them in there. It went with the Yoda keychains that I had earlier with the other ones that I did in an, the earlier video from uh, Diamond Painting Factory. So here, that is my honest review. And I hope y'all enjoyed it. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Those two things right there, just even if you don't subscribe, you hit the like button. You're going to help other people that like your hobby to, to see this channel. It, uh, YouTube will see that you hit like and say, hey, somebody likes this. More people like this. The more likes you get, they'll say, okay, this is obviously something a lot of people enjoy let's keep offering this to new people to more people so when you subscribe and you hit the like button you are sub uh, supporting my channel and supporting me and giving me so much encouragement thank you so much for being there for me and watching and taking time out of your day to watch my videos thank you so very much god bless you bye <laughs>